To catch a bonefish, you will need a certain set of upgrades. You will not really need your boat, your fit, your rod to be as strong as mine is right now. You'll definitely need a sinker to get down far enough. You will almost certainly need a detonator, and you'll want a crankbait using the method that we're using today, which will require at least two casts. So first, you'll get yourself a bomb. It might be useful to have a fresh bulb. Normally, the tiger shark is further over than it is right now, but I believe the maw's keeping it a little spooked. But you will want to go down and scout before you get your bomb to find the cavern we'll be going into, because once you crank the bomb, the bomb bats will swarm your lure. So just go down. This is the one that we want right down into here. It's the same place we caught the Gorbin, and I believe this is probably where we caught the Thresher as well. But right down here are where the bomb, the bonefish are. So just bring it down, detonate it, or you could do that without the detonator, and bring it up and keep an eye on where it is because ideally you would catch it outside of the cavern but that really isn't completely necessary so just keep an eye on it it looks like because it was following me it went right down but if you can get catch it without it going back down into its little area you should be better off because you, it'll get rid of a step and for this part you'll probably want to have the Lure guard, I believe it's lure guard, might be bait guard. The one that protects your bait from your large bait from uh, small fish, because there are even at night there are quite a few small fish. You need to weave your way in through the threshers, and you will have quite a bit of time, if not an indefinite amount of time, before the bone fish will go back to sleep. It looks like it's going into the little its little hole, but it is not actually. Do not just let it bite immediately. This is why I recommend you get... Where are those going? This is why I recommend that you try to get it while it's still up, swimming around, playing with other fish, because it really has a short aggro range. So if you keep it as close as possible avoiding the threshers you will want to get it up past the surface of this hole for a reason that will be extremely apparent once we hook it because once it gets hooked it will go straight to the right well mostly straight to the right and a little up and this is why I don't believe you really need a very strong hook, because once it breaches the surface, it will mostly give up its fight. And you'll just be able to crank it in, reel it in. So the difficult part is getting it up past that level before you let it bite on. Once that's done, most of the hard work has been done for you. And you can just reel it in. It's the same at night or in the day. It's just in the day, there's generally more fish in the way to get down there. So I do recommend you do this at night. 